let the peace, love, and blessing of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Peace, the corner stone, everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Second lesson, Romans chapter 12, verse 13. If it be possible, as much as light in you, live peaceably with all men. Golden text, James chapter 3, verse 18. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Quote, Beloved, this is not an era of lengthy preaching. It is a time to practice the gospel. In this era, all injunctions of God have to be practiced. From the beginning of the world, the peacemakers have always been the children of God. You have read from our first lesson that blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. You have seen the peace moves all over the world. This is so because the Father and Lord of peace has arrived. Everything is now done in peace. Peace abounds now and is penetrating all nooks and crannies of the world. Though a lot of people seek after money and only pray for mundane possession, yet peace is the cornerstone. It is a shameful thing and a surprising situation to see that in a community where there are up to 20 different churches, war is raging high. How can such church goers claim to be children of God? This is pathetic indeed. You have heard of the holy war, brethren, the Catholics and the Protestants. You have heard of the holy war between the Catholics and the Protestants, yet they claim to be God's people. How can they substantiate this claim? What is holy about killing another human being? What is a holy war? You also think of the other wars between the Christians and the Muslims. These two bodies each claim to be worshipping God and being his people. Which God are they claiming to be his people? They are always at daggers drawn. Now, you can see the light of peace everywhere because the spirit of peace has come. This is the time of the peace which our Lord Jesus Christ promised in John chapter 14 verse 27. Peace I give, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This is the time that you must uphold peace without relenting. Where there is peace, there is joy and progress. Such a place where peace reigns eternally is the kingdom of God. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. The words have spoken for themselves. The children of peace are the children of God. They are those who have faith in God. They possess and practice love, humility and joy and do not hate or curse any person. The children of peace do not fight against any person for they remain in peace with everyone. 
They are those who will inherit the kingdom of God. If from the beginning of the world peace had been in the world, what need could the armed forces serve? All the coup d'etats experienced in the world are planned and carried out by human beings. Those who engineer these coups and counter coups are people who can who even claim to be God's people and they are in groups. Each group wants to rule and have or have their people in better positions in the government of their various countries of interest. As you are aware, if there are no necromancers, then the world, then there would be nobody to buy charms and amulets. If no person sues any person in the law court, then the courts would be closed down. So, the kingdom of God demands perfect peace. The children of God are those who possess this perfect peace. Though you may have much money, wealth, and occupy high positions. If you do not have peace, you are not a child of God. In the kingdom of God, all the virtues are found. Physical weapons such as knives, swords, or guns are not needed. See Isaiah chapter 2 verses 1 to 5. The word, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it and many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach, and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall, shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning forks, into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. This is the period when knives shall only be used in farming instead of war. This is the era where there shall be no discrimination or segregation. It is a time when the Almighty God, which is Christ alone, shall be the only lawgiver and ruler. It is written that at the end of time, the lawbreaker would present himself as God. That is the time when many people will backslide from the path of righteousness. However, finally, the real Christ will reveal himself, exposing the tricks of the false God. By then, Christ will subdue all the powers of the evil one and finally destroy him with his words. See 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 1 to 17. Now we beseech you brethren by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the gathering together unto him that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word now by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped so that he has God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that 
When I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know that, uh, and now ye know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now let it will let until he were only until he who taken out of his way out of the way and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all this deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved and for this cause god shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned and uh, who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness but we are bound to give thanks always to God for you brethren beloved of the Lord because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through satis through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our lord jesus christ therefore brethren stand fast and hold the traditions which we have been taught whether by word or our epistle no our lord jesus christ himself and god even our father which art loved us and art given us everlasting consolation and good hope true grace comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work so we are very grateful to God for his, for his promise is fulfilled today. We are very confident that all his words shall come to fulfillment. Though many people seem not to realize the presence of peace, yet peace has reached all places for the Holy Spirit has come this was the promise of christ that when he comes he will lead us to all truth in times past we thought that murder was a sign of bravery and indeed a profitable venture we also regarded suing people in the law court as wisdom we regarded stealing, telling lies, segregation, and other evil practices as good works. Today, the reverse is the case. You have heard what is happening in France. When France tested her nuclear weapons again, all the people were against it. This is so because the era of warfare has passed. This is the era of peace. And if you do not have peace, then do not hope for any good thing every good thing will reject you if you have no peace because the children of peace who are the children of god will not recognize you the entire world has become the kingdom of god and his christ the greatest thing in the entire world is peace wherever there exists peace there is joy so try your best to be in peace with all people in the name of our lord jesus christ this is the wisdom which has deluded the worldly 
people. In the past, the Confucianists, murderers, rogues, were praised for their imaginary bravery and power. In this way, we experience a lot of problems and disturbances in our midst. For, fortunately, the Holy Spirit has arrived and peace has arrived in a big way. He has brought peace and all good things from God, from God's kingdom. So whether you have food, money or wealth or not, you must do everything to be in peace, both with yourself and with others. Once we have peace, we shall not tell lies, fornicate, kill or commit adultery or idolatry or any form of immorality. You would not even bear malice, quarrel, or fight against any person. Money, food, cars, houses and clothes do not give one peace. There is no amount of mundane position of mundane possession or position that can give someone peace. If you have the Holy Spirit, you will have peace. And it is peace that rules the entire world in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, when you are told that the armed forces, hospitals, and the like places shall cease to exist, you doubt and frown at such, at such talk. But you should know that with the arrival of the King, the Father of Peace, as well as the Children of Peace, all those things are no more needed. Peace has engulfed the entire universe in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I want you to know today that peace has come and you have to be in peace. As much as possible, be in peace with all people. Be in peace with both your friends and your enemies. Do not impute sins to any person, no matter what the person does against you. That is what is expected of you. See the second lesson below. Second lesson, Romans chapter 12, verse 18. If it be possible, as much as light in you, live peaceably with all men. Even the preaching of gospel shall stop once peace is universally accepted. The same is true of vision and prophecy, for peace covers all these things. So, there is oneness and one shepherd in the entire world. Please do all within your power. Be in peace with all people. This is the time that God must be glorified. It is said that heaven and earth will pass away, but the words of God cannot pass away until all are fulfilled. All the teachings of God and center on peace. The churches and religious organizations do not know the importance of peace because it was not yet time for it to be practiced. The Holy Spirit teaches us not to resist the evildoer and that if one slaps your right cheek, you should turn the left to him. Our Lord Jesus Christ equally taught these so that man may have perfect peace. He taught that if one begs from you, that you should not fail to give to him. And when you give to another, you should not have hope of collecting back a thing. This, this he did because he wanted peace to reign. Peace is a constituent in the new kingdom of God and the greatest in the world. Our Lord Jesus Christ also taught that if you were prepared to fight against another city and you discover that the enemy troops are more than your troops, you should try to make peace with your enemy. In this way, you will be in peace. I have always told you that all those who sue others in the law court, quarrel or fight, are blind people, they are stupid people and do not realize where they are. So whenever you are 
So whatever you are and or may achieve in the world, you must do everything to have peace between you and also share it with others. For the one on the throne is the king of peace. Realize that you and all that you possess are useless unless you have peace. Once you have peace, all things are in abundance at your disposal. The Father has come to judge the entire universe. All those who do not listen to him are children of perdition. Those who abide by his word have peace to enjoy. Your wisdom or carnal acquisition cannot make your brotherhood of the cross and star. What makes your brotherhood is peace? For the king of peace is the head of brotherhood. Christ has told his disciples that wherever they go, they should greet people with the word peace. If a child of peace is in the place, the peace would abide therein. Otherwise, the peace would return to them. He further explained to them that all those who do not accept their peace would suffer more than Sodom and Gomorrah. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. St. Matthew chapter 10 verse 13. The worldly people do not seek for peace because they are children of perdition. The children of God seek after peace because they are the children of peace. The words of peace belong only to the children of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ was always saying that let those who have ears to hear, let them hear. And other fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit an hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, he that art hears to hear, let him hear. St. Luke chapter 8 verse 8. He, shall, he that art hears to hear, let him hear. St. Matthew chapter 11 verse 15. The children of God alone seek and practice peace. You will be dumbfounded by what you will witness in this era. Before the end of the year 2000, there will be no more confusion, war, commotion, and troubles in the universe. No nation shall maintain or keep armed forces anymore. This is because the Father, King, and children of peace have arrived. It is believed that one bad apple spoils the rest. Now, the dictum is, one good apple blesses the rest. So. As it was true, one man, the entire world became sinful. So is it that true, one man, the entire creations of God are blessed. You can see now, you can see how peace is shaking the world. A certain Chinese who was rejected by the government of China for offense against the people was sent back to the USA. But the world the world body the world women body refused to go to Beijing China unless the man is given the freedom to return home for this reason he was pardoned and allowed to return home so if you have had no peace in your family or community go right away and make peace to reign among the people the degree which can give you all good jobs now is peace and not phd peace is the only required certificate for the best employment now the king of peace has come to reign forever and ever Read the golden text again. Golden text, James chapter 3, verse 18. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. In many communities, young people have decided not to take part in violence and mob, mob, 
and mob actions again. They have also taken a decision to refrain from fornication, adultery, idolatry and other evil practices. They want to be in peace because the Father, King, Mother and Brethren of Peace have come. Go and preach to the Muslim world, Christian world, Baha'i faith, Hindus and to all religions and organizations that the time of war, the time of war and confusion has passed. Let them know that now the Father of Peace has arrived with the Kingdom of Peace. The time around, this time around, peace, love, humility and truth are ruling. The scripture has it that the kingdom of this world has become that of the Almighty God and His Christ. So there is no division between the worldly person and a man of God anymore. We are all one in the East, in this era of peace. Live in peace with all people, whatever may be their races, status or statures. It is recorded in the Bible and as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 49. Put it differently, as we used to quarrel, fight, cause confusion and indulge in all forms of evil practices, even from the day of Adam, even from the day Adam was driven from the Garden of Eden, now we have to make peace. From now on, there shall be no more trouble, but peace everywhere. Before long, you will be saying that there used to be commotion and lack of peace on earth, for by then there shall be peace and tranquility in the entire universe. So go and practice this special peace. Our Lord Jesus Christ knew that only the children of God have ears to hear. That is why he was always ending his teaching by asking those that had ears to hear. Fortunately, the Father of Peace has used peace to unite the entire world and call all children of God together. For this reason, all have received the gospel and assimilated it. Illustration Making way for peace. There were two families in a rock in a rock new Wu Abba state that has an ancient shrine. But there arose a division in the entire family concerning the true ownership of this shrine. So the people started fighting and killing one another. Through the years, lots of people had died in both families. In both families. Then one young man became the leader of the warring groups. He spent some time cogitating over the issue. He recalled how his great grandparents, his grandfather and father all died struggling for the ownership of a shrine. He erected another shrine on his own land for his group to worship. From that day, peace returned to the city and the entire community enjoyed abundant peace. Today, you are warned to stop fighting or struggling for things. If you were fighting over land, money, house, woman or man, forego it so that peace may reign. This is the era of peace. Thus, let peace alone abide in the, in the center of your mind. Remember that God will always provide for you. It is said that if your enemy is hungry, you should give him food. If he thirsts, you should give him drink. And by so doing, you have heaped 
call the fire on his head. Romans chapter 12 verse 20. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt he call the fire on his head. Now, you can see that the era of peace has come and there is no substitute for peace. Beloved, it is said that a stroke of the cane is enough for the wise. Let he who has ears to hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.